Hi, welcome to the Student Portfolio Tutorials. This is tutorial number seven using Google Sites. Not everything is made in Google, so uh, there will be plenty of things that you produce that you want to get into your portfolio that are not necessarily in your Google Docs. And here is an example. Using iPads in the classroom and using the Book Creator app, students uh, authored, illustrated, and published their own books which is great for viewing on the iPad or in iBooks. But let's say you want to showcase that in your and preserve that in your Google portfolio. Well, there's a couple ways to do that. The eBook Creator or Book Creator has the ability to export the book as a PDF. And in this example, we're going to show how a variety of ways you can embed or link to the PDF um, to publish that story in your portfolio. Okay, so let's go directly to the portfolio and I'll show you an end product. In this example, in this sample portfolio, um, there's several ways you can do this. You can export as a PDF to your computer and then upload the PDF to your uh, site. You can play the um, story directly. You can upload it to a Google Doc and embed it in the site or you can upload it to Google Docs make it public as a web page and add a link or you can do all three so I'm going to show you how this actually works quite nicely so let's go to um, let's go and have you log into your Google account and then go to your Google Docs in this example, we're going to upload the PDF to your Google Doc. So when you're in your Google Docs, you click on this upload icon and you choose files and you go and navigate, look for the file, the PDF that you want to upload. If you need help with this, please see your teacher and they'll help you find your file to upload. Choose the PDF file. Once it's uploaded to your Google Docs, you'll see it on the list here. Go ahead and click on it to open it. Now by default, nobody can view this but yourself because it's uploaded to your Google Docs. So you need to click on the share. See where it says private only to me here? When you click on share, you can now make your book public to the world. Click on change, choose public on the web, and click on save. Now click on done. Let's just do that one more time. Make your book, your PDF, public by clicking on Share, Change, selecting Public on the web, Save, and Done. Now you're good. This is the URL, which is the hyperlink or the link to your book. If you highlight all of it and choose Control C, you can go back to your portfolio, you click on Edit Page, and you just paste the link in like this. Control V. And then you click on Save. And it's as simple as that. Now if you wanted to go a step further and convert your PDF to a Google Doc and also embed it in the page like this so someone can scroll through the page and view your book, you can do that as well. Go back to your doc. Check the box to the left of your book. Choose More. Choose Export to Google Docs. This may take a moment. You have to delete some text after you convert it. And I'll show you how and why. Okay, when it's finished, you'll probably see error copying to Google Docs. Don't worry about that. 
go ahead and refresh your page. It takes a moment, but it does appear. If you go ahead and open it up, what I mean by editing is it converts the image files in your PDF, but it pulls text out below. So you just need to go through and delete the extra text on each page. And it's a little tricky. And if you don't end up doing it, it's okay. It'll be there. But if you can, just get rid of this extra text on each page and then scroll through. Now I'll show you how to insert that into your website. So you go back to your website and you click on edit page. And here you can see the gadget's already here, so I'm going to close that out. And click under your link and choose Insert. And now you go over and choose Document. And you grab your book, click on Select. Click, I uncheck the title. Click on Save. Click on Save again. And there you have it. And that's the end of this broadcast. Oh, before I go, as a last resort, you can always add the file by clicking on Add Files and uploading the PDF. So if I go to my desktop and find my book, I can upload the file. And those are three ways I can get a PDF to appear in my portfolio.